students are having trouble um, with the measurement uh, in the fields, the microscopic field. So let's kind of go through this. Um, and I'm sorry this isn't up sooner, but this was the quickest I got home today, so the quickest we could do this. So, Okay, so here we are looking at a, a microscope. There is a slide down here, and there is a ruler on top of it. And the ruler, um, we're looking at the millimeter marks on the ruler. So we're going to focus on that using the scanning power objective, which is the 4x objective. Remember that the, um, the eyepieces up here have a 10x magnification. So when you multiply the 10x up here by the 4x down here, that gives you a total magnification of 40x using the scanning power. So this is us looking through the microscope and we're looking at the ruler. So each of these areas, each of these tick marks, is a millimeter mark on the ruler. So as we look through the scanning objective lens, uh, which is a 40x magnification, uh, we're trying to count how many millimeters across our field of view is. The field of view is just what you can see when you look through the microscope. So using this as our guideline, we've got kind of the beginning of a tick mark here and then to here, so that's one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, and then there's a little bit left over down here. So this little bit is 0.4, and they tell you this in the slide. So the total diameter for the field of view for the scanning lens, so when you look through the scanning lens, what you can see is 4.4 millimeters across. All right, so the view, the field of view of a scanning lens is 4.4 millimeters. However, when we're talking about things with the microscope, we usually use micrometers rather than millimeters. Um, because a micrometer is smaller. So there are a thousand micrometers uh, in one millimeter. So that, that's kind of our unit of measure because um, cells and bacteria are very, very tiny. So we use micrometers to measure that. So one millimeter equals a thousand micrometers. So we know that we can see 4.4 millimeters across here and one millimeter is equal to a thousand micrometers or micrometers. Um, then when you convert that over, that means you're seeing 4,400 micrometers. So the field of view, this um, diameter, this, uh, this lengthwise here, is 4,400 micrometers across. All right, so now we're going to look at um, kind of figuring out, knowing that information, how you can figure out uh, the field of view for other lenses. So the next lens up is considered the low power lens and it is a 10x lens. So when you combine that with a 10x eyepiece magnification, that gives you 100x total magnification um, with this lens on the microscope. So what we're doing down here is we're using a ratio. So we're saying we know that for the um, scanning objective, which is a total magnification of 40x, the length, or the diameter of the field of view is 4,400 micrometers. So we know this is true. So we're setting up a ratio so that if we have 100x total magnification, we can figure out the total field of view in micrometers for that 100x magnification. So this is just a ratio, basically. Um, just like you were setting up you know, fractions and proportions whenever you take algebra, it's the same type of thing. So it's a ratio. So using this formula or this ratio, you can calculate that the diameter, so that the across the lengthwise here of this field of view under the low power lens is 1760 micrometers or if you convert that back to millimeters it's 1.76 millimeters and that's how much you can see. So this letter E is taking up um, I would guess you know about two-thirds of that but this letter E would be kind of two-thirds of this total amount because this is measuring, once again this is measuring um, the length across the field of view, that diameter of that circle uh, is the field of view. Okay, so here we're using the equation for the other lenses. Uh, so the high power lens is a 40x lens with a 10x eyepiece so that gives us a total magnification of 400x and that's what the TM is, total magnification. So once again using that proportion we know for 40x total magnification our field of view, the diameter, is 4,400 micrometers. So we divide by our um, total magnification that we're trying to figure out to get that proportion. And that gives us an answer of four, 440 micrometers, or if you convert that to millimeters, 0.44 millimeters. 
Uh, so looking at this E, this is the E zoomed in even further under the high power lens. What you can see across here, the length of this circle is 0.44 millimeters or 440 micrometers. So that little cross bit of the E is basically 0.44 millimeters is, is how long that is. And so that's what you're using kind of as your, your gauge here. If you're doing oil immersion, which is the strongest lens you can do on a scanning elect or on a uh, regular microscope, that's a 100x lens combined with a 10x eyepiece, which gives us a total magnification of a thousand times, a thousand x. So using our ratio, where with a 40x lens, our length, the diameter is 440, or sorry, 4,400 micrometers, dividing by a thousand. That gives us a total length of 176 micrometers, which if you convert that to millimeters, is 0.176 millimeters. So if we zoomed in on this E even further using the um, oil immersion lens on the microscope, it would basically be about a quarter of the size. So you'd only be able to see about this much of the E, but it would be really big, okay? So the E kind of gives you an idea about what you're doing, um, but the next step is estimating. Okay, so you have to use that knowledge from the previous um, exercise to estimate how big uh, these things are. So like it says up here, if you know what your field of view is, so if this is a scanning lens, a 40x, um, we know that the total length, the total diameter that we're looking at is 400 or 4,400 micrometers, so 4,400 micrometers. And each of these circles that we're measuring this is about a third of that diameter. So one third of 4,400 micrometers gives us roughly 1,467 micrometers. So we could estimate that the size of this little thing in the microscope is 1,467 micrometers. Okay, so that's what we're doing is we're estimating based off of knowing how big the total field division is um, with this magnification, we're estimating what the size is of the thing that we're looking at through the microscope. Okay? So that is, um, that's kind of what you're doing in this, these exercises. So let's say that this field of view, um, let's say it was the next level up, let's say it was the low power magnification. Okay? Well, we had just said back here that under low power, under low power magnification, the total field of view is about 1760 uh, micrometers. So completely across the diameter here is 1760. So if you have one third of 1760, that will give you the estimated size of this object if you're looking at it through the low power magnification. Okay? If we were looking at this and it was under a high power magnification, we just said the high power magnification has a total diameter for the field of view of 440 micrometers. So one third of that would be what? I mean, 150 ish, somewhere around there. So, I mean, you can use a calculator and figure that out. I don't have the calculator with me. Um, but you can, um, you can use that to estimate how big this is, once you know the total diameter, the total length, you can use a ratio to figure out how big that is. If we were looking at the oil immersion, the total length of that field of view is 176 micrometers. So you would divide 176 by 3 because it's taking up one third of that total length. So I hope that helps. I'm sorry I didn't get this out sooner. Um, like I said, I, I've been out all day and I just had a couple students question me about this and they were having some trouble. So I'll get this posted um, and we'll see if it gets you all in time to kind of help you with this exercise.